to open the second Arrivest conference. The Trendlines Group is a venture capital investment company located here in Israel, whose vision is to establish, invest in, and build companies that will improve the human condition. Over the next 40 years, humanity will have to produce more food than was consumed during the, the tens of thousands of years since the transition from apps to men. It's very important for us to promote the implementation of the agricultural know-how in international markets using the Israeli agriculture industry. I think one of the key challenges is understanding why we do it. Why we would collaborate, we meaning the big companies, with a small company. We are several companies, we compete and it's good, but sometimes we don't have enough early stage innovation project and we may all jump on it and because we jump on it the future is going to be the biggest threat to GMO right now and our future is not the debate I think the challenge is 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 really after Israel takes on the initiative of, uh, of bringing together multidisciplinary areas for technology pivotable to add to the ag space and don't forget the consumer facing, it's still got to taste good and it's still got to process effectively, is going to be how to get the mindset internally within this ecosystem so that we in PepsiCo who don't know how to take small to scale, how do we jointly together figure out that hurdle? I think one of the main roles of uh, companies at your size is in uh, actually working with startup companies in Israel is to link the huge innovation taking place in Israel to the actual need of the consumer, whether it's the farmer or the consumer that really buys the PepsiCo products in the supermarket. So I think it's a very important uh, message. For me at least, for us at the ministry, the word agriculture is not just agriculture. We prefer to say that agri is our culture. Since the biblical times till today. Thank you very much. And now for the most exciting part of the day, we are going to meet 12 Israeli outstanding startups, all focusing on agri-tech innovations. We build scalable systems, up to thousands units, units each. We can set irrigation and fertilization to each plant according to an experiment plan, monitor all sensors automatically and continuously, and analyze the results to the second and the plant. Innovative solutions need to be introduced to achieve efficient crown protection. When we need a shield, we search for innovations in plants. And you may be wondering how this desert scenery relates to plants. We develop roots that increase yield. Our roots really increase the yield and maintain the quality inside the field crops. And I'm presenting our first product, the metabolic robots Kaizen robotic system. A Kaizen controller connects to the end of each feeding line inside an existing bro broiler house. It can be a new broiler house or it can be an old broiler house using any current feeding technology uh, uh, in the market. with two cows and we always remember there is something about the food industry that is so fragile and sensitive because we start with live raw material. We are totally connected to, to this thing that is called agriculture farmers. We, yes, we can create this movement of improvement um, together. The only thing uh, the team decided to do is let's try to connect the dots. Let's try really to create something that one day will be called the food tech community here in Israel. Good afternoon, so indeed uh, I'm Shalom Nachshon, a co-founder and the CEO of Catalyst Stack Tech, uh, offering a solution to make uh, harmful pesticide environmentally friendly. Uh, I'm not sure if a match and a forest fire is the best way to explain how Catalyst works, but I'm sure you get the idea how a tiny element triggers or accelerates a huge reaction. And this is exactly what's happening with our catalyst and pesticides. My name is Ari Koenig and I'm uh, representing uh, Danziger Innovations Company. So we heard about uh, the global challenges that uh, the agriculture is facing. 
and um, we uh, recognize the need to develop new um, technologies to uh, make a better, better plants, better with a high yield uh, adaptation to marginal lands, as you see, and uh, tolerant to harsh environment conditions. My name is David Rubin. I'm the VP Business Development of Mirobot, uh, which, as you see, is developing a robotic milking parlor. What is our invention? Our proposal is a robot per stall, which does all the pre and post milking activities. There'll be only one operator required instead of two to six operators. It is both for new and existing stalls, so it can be also retrofitted to existing equipment. The operator will have a small tablet, which will be used as a control unit. Uh, every year, 180 million uh, day old male chicks are being called just due to the fact that they're being hatched to the wrong sex. They are males in the leather industry, which uh, uh, they, they are used to, they, are, they cannot be used uh, as layers. And uh, today there is uh, no current technology which can detect the gender or the sex of the embryo within the, within the egg in a non-invasive uh, maker. Makhtishi Magan is uh, uh, standing in the front line and we saw here today and we heard some speakers of uh, the big uh, companies, the big crop protection companies. Uh, we are uh, the seventh uh, biggest uh, off patent and the biggest off patent, seventh biggest uh, uh, crop protection company uh, in the world. And uh, we are integrating Israeli agriculture, technology and innovation with a global uh, access. My name is Egal Magen. I'm the CTO of Bioefficiency. My partner, the CEO, Kobe Levanon, and I founded Bioefficiency in order to develop uh, a water treatment system to address aquaculture's most important challenge, which is the water availability. Otanocap was founded due to the awareness of the problems uh, arising from the pesticides currently used, the toxics, the, the pollute, the residuals all over, either in the soil or either in the crops. And uh, due, to, due to the regulation um, uh, that a couple of years ago we had more than 1,000 chemical uh, molecules in the market, Today we have less than uh, 300 molecules remained. In Sensalize we take uh, our knowledge in, uh, in smart image analysis, combine it into the world of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, to address needs within the agribusiness industry by providing uh, important agronomic information to the farmer. This is a tank where you have the fertilizers in them in which, to which we actually spray water. These are the, uh, the dry fertilizers. The water goes into our system. We actually measure the concentration of each of the different type of fertilizers with a control unit that is uh, software based that actually analyzes how much, uh, uh, how much we actually um, have, how much fertilizer we have in every step. At broadly defined is really the only solution. We need to do more with what we have. And that's why it becomes such, you know, such an important area and such a valuable area. And ultimately, as an investor, we'll create a lot of value. We can have open online investment platforms. And so that's really what we are, and we're sort of like a market. Um, and it, just to give you a sense, if you don't know what crowdfunding is, it's just a really another word for syndication. And so it's a platform that syndicates investors uh, into an investment opportunity. For me, most important is to see professionalism. Um, I want to come and see people that come with a clear story, that know what they're talking about, they've done their homework, uh, uh, they know how to build a company, they know where to bring the advisors from, they're not afraid to help, uh, to ask for help. Um, and they've built a serious business plan that shows how they're going to build this company into a successful uh, uh, partnership. Um, you can have a great idea, but without good management, you're never going to execute. Be realistic in your valuation expectations. I say don't be afraid to say, I don't know, or well, we haven't gotten to that yet. Um, you know, the advice earlier that you, know, you, you do need to do your homework and put together your business plan. But um, particularly if you're at the venture stage, you know, what you're doing is, and we understand this, you're predicting the future. You're saying the market looks like this today. 
in three years when we can get this technology there, we predict the market, it will meet the market needs and the customers will buy it. It's a predictive tool. Um, and then really work on your story. I mean, you have to pitch uh, your story 180 times, 200 times before you're really going to get it down and, and, and come across as confident. And so just pitch everyone, anytime, anywhere, um, and, and then get to a place where you're investment ready. And then when you're investment ready, go and talk to the, to the people who have capital. Um, uh, but I would hold off before then uh, because you're just going to look um, um, immature and, and, and not buttoned up. Today Israel is an established world leader when it comes to innovation and we have all the ingredients of a successful ecosystem uh, starting from a very mature financing uh, environment and you saw some of the representative right here. Um, very strong academia with very effective technology transfer offices uh, which know how to translate basic research and take it into the commercial markets. And of course, most importantly, great entrepreneurs, seasoned people. Um, a lot of the multinationals are here. I'm happy to see you here. Um, I can tell you they're frequent visitors to Israel. Uh, they come to our office, they come to the universities, they come to the incubators, they come to seek for innovation, understanding what we have to offer. And I cannot, uh, I, I think the role of multinationals is, is extremely important. In, in this world, as in many others, they can serve as great partners to the young companies, taking them into the market, but also helping with a lot of the challenges that are required from any young company. So uh, certainly glad to be uh, to see you all here, and uh, I know that uh, we're going to hear more from you in the next uh, next coming years. I do want to congratulate the organizers, our good friends from uh, uh, from Trendlines, uh, and of course uh, all the other participants. Um, I think, yes, uh, you are pioneers, and hopefully 10 years uh, there'll be a lot of nice stories to say, but uh, I also think you're doing a very good business. So as such, uh, it's probably the best combinations. Uh, if you can do good and do well, uh, that's probably the place, uh, the place to be at. The, not the winner yet, not the winner, but the very close, very, very tight race, the second company to win, uh, uh, to win uh, this competition is Catalyst Agtech. Congratulations. The winner of the competition is Utility. And now please, come to stage. We have something for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I do want to congratulate all the rest of the companies. I'm sure we'll hear great, uh, great things about you. I just want to thank you all for a wonderful, exciting, and interesting afternoon.